a man on a mission of course lost that submissions match to Chris Ridgway way back at curtain call nothing to be ashamed of there but Jay Joshua would dearly love to get on that winning trail tonight mesmerized by what I'm seeing and listen oh I can't even talk listen and look it was happening before your very eyes and ears magic that's what these people are electric We saw what a powerhouse he is in that victory against Leighton Buzzard. Oh, no doubt about it. Joe Hendry against his former protege, El Capitan, Leighton Buzzard. So, so impressive. But there's a man who hopes to upset the apple cart, so to speak. Joe Hendry says he is the answer. Well, tonight is a big, big question mark for Jay Joshua. Can he overcome someone the calibre of Joe Hendry? We're about to find out. I think to say he would upset the apple cart is to put it mildly because Joe Hendry, of course, is on a collision course with Doug Williams here in this very building, November 14th, as part of Carnival Mania. So if Jay Joshua were to defeat Hendry here, it would be a major problem in Hendry's preparation for one of the biggest matches of his career. Oh, and there's a handshake. To your point, Bradshaw, we'll see a bit more of that next month between Hendry and Doug Williams. Maybe a bit more of this as well. Both of these men as Joshua takes Hendry down. It is the second appearance for both in Wrestle Carnival, as we said. Jay Joshua losing to Chris Ridgeway back at Curtin Call. Hendry with that win over Buzzard last month at Carnival of Honor. James, we're seeing here in the early going the amateur wrestling background of both of these men. Both men jockeying for position. A little bit of a stalemate early on. Interesting because the longer this match goes, Bradshaw, you would expect Joe Hendry, with the size advantage, to also have the power and strength one as well. You would, but there's some unanswered questions, I think, about Joshua as he 
escapes the clutches of Henry there. Last time we saw Josh Burr, that match against Ridgeway was a submission match. This one, of course, a, a more regular style match where pitfalls are allowed as well. So we'll see if that change in the rules affects Jay Joshua and gives him more of an opportunity to pick up the win. There's a nice takedown from Joshua. Who could ever forget the amateur acumen that Joe Hendry has? Went to the Commonwealth Games in 2018. No slouch when it comes to the ground game himself. Joshua into the ropes, gets the break, and of course, OK, Joshua would reply to that by saying, well, he also qualified for the Commonwealth Games back in 2012 in freestyle wrestling. So both of these men with a highly accomplished amateur pedigree. They are about to rock up again in a very even contest in these opening few moments. Absolutely, and you can hear these people on edge anticipating something special between these two men to kick off pure here this evening. And it looks like Jay Joshua maybe has an early advantage. Trying to roll through here, and in the end, switches to an arm drag. That was smart from Joshua. Both of these men for their amateur backgrounds have very different professional wrestling backgrounds as Hendry gets the, the head scissors here. Hendry's been wrestling a, a, quite a while longer than Joshua. Jay Joshua just passing the three-year mark in his pro career. And now look at this. Look at the balance and poise of Joshua. We have the shoulders of Hendry down there. Hendry needs to be careful. He's keeping an eye on his position of his shoulders at all times. But Hendry, I think, will be annoyed with himself as much as anything. He's looking for a Boston Crab. But those large legs of Joshua would not be turned over, and in the end, Hendry had to rely on the bottom rope to be his savior. And the answer decides to take a minute, rolls out of the ring, just takes stock of what's happening here. Now, of course, with that big Ring of Honor Pure Rules match against Doug Williams on the horizon, Bradshaw, an awful lot of people are already looking past Jay Joshua. I'm sure that Joe Hendry is not one of them. Henry getting back into the ring here. Of course, we do have a pure rules match tonight. Our main event, Chris Ridgeway is in it. He's going to be competing against Jonathan Gresham. What a match that is going to be later tonight here at Pure. But right now, it is all about Hendry and Jay Joshua. And it is Joshua back on top. Oh, and look at that power from Joe Hendry. Just takes control. Joshua going to the ropes to himself a little bit of respite how do you even try to counter this immense strength that we now see in this latest incarnation of Joe Hendry oh and look at this quick as a cat as well not just the power has the speed and you know what he's trying for looking for the Hendry lock that ankle lock that he's used so many times to force submissions from his opponents a little bit too early to get Joshua in that position at the moment, but Henry, I guess, firing a warning shot there to his opponent. And Bradshaw, to answer your question, we saw Leighton Buzzard try to use speed and agility against the answer. It didn't work. J. Joshua will have scouted that match, so it's going to be interesting to see Joshua's strategy. He does have the feel of two big bulls locking horns here, J. Joshua. And Joe Hendry, neither man prepared to give an inch. They're back into the ropes again. Referee wants the break. Instead, he gets a side headlock from Joshua. He gets sent to the ropes. Shoulder block, and Joshua came off the worst. What a collision that was in the middle of the ring. Might see another one. Yeah, Joshua, I think, was going to try again for the sake of his pride, if nothing else. But it's the same result. Joe Hendry, just a pillar of granite here that Jay Joshua keeps on running into. Third time's a charm, perhaps. Oh! Big kick from Joshua, will that help him out? Instead, Henry goes to the ropes, and Henry follows him in, knocks him down with the shoulder block. Joe Henry just a, a little step ahead of here, mentally, I think, of Jay Joshua in the past minute or two. Oh, and then, as if on cue, it's almost like Joshua heard you, Bradshaw. Maybe he took it as motivation because suddenly he's back in the game, or is he? Hendry, look at the power of the answer! Gene Joshua is not a small man. He's going for the cover here is Hendry gets a two count. As you say, Joshua not a small man and used those tree trunk-like legs to kick out on two and a half. How impressive was that from Hendry? Just almost 
holding Jay Joshua with ease midair before slamming him down to the canvas. Henry looking to capitalize here, and no doubt Doug Williams somewhere will be watching this match very, very closely as we head towards that date with destiny between the two of them again, November 14th and Carnival Mania. And if Joe Hendry were to defeat Doug Williams on that night, Doug Williams being one of the leading lights in British wrestling over the past two decades. What would that mean for Hendry's career, do you think? Oh, it would be massive. Joe Hendry has been making waves in pro wrestling since day one, but that might be the biggest win of his career, certainly personally. Oh. Exchanging blows, big strike to the chest, and then Hendry hits that boot, sends Joshua into the corner. I don't think Jay Joshua is at all used to being manhandled in matches the way he's being handled here by Joe Hendry. Absolutely not, and here's another example. Wow. That vertical suplex. Looks like it was effortless from Hendry, and a lateral press gets a two count for the answer. And that's exactly the kind of strength that Doug Williams will be studying. Again, Joe Hendry has all the respect in the world for Williams, and that's why a win over Doug would mean everything to Joe. Take the knee of Jay Joshua out of its socket there is Hendry. Hendry with a pronounced ruthless streak, and you can see now trying to weaken the ankle of Joshua. And you don't need telling twice what that's about. Again, trying to soften him up for the Hendry lock. Yeah, that's exactly what this is about. Jay Joshua right now powerless to fight off Joe Hendry. You can just see the determination on the answer's face cranking away at that ankle. Extra element of competitiveness in this match as Joshua kicks his way free. Joshua full Nelson. And then into the German suplex. Great power from Jay Joshua. A display of power of his own, and look at that. Now kick right to the side of the head. He may have knocked Hendry out here, but he very nearly got the three count. Hendry narrowly kicking out. What I was about to say before that was. Given both of these men's amateur background, I think there's that extra element here. They both had the chance to compete in the Commonwealth game. They both had those similar backgrounds, and they both want to be known as the predominant amateur wrestler in pro wrestling. Yeah, we're seeing that competition, fierce as it is, right in front of us. And look, there's another big kick from Jay Joshua. That look of resentment from Joe Hendry as he stares up at Joshua almost daring him to hit another kick. And on the third time of asking, Hendry grabs the leg. Joshua got it by the throat, slaps him, and now Jay Joshua will go to the ropes, gets picked up by Hendry. Fireman's carry by Joe Hendry in a gorilla press. Goodness me, Hendry, again, with that raw power on display. It's a game changer, isn't it? But look at the position of Joshua, whether by accident or design, rolled out onto that ring apron, not quite safe and sound. But Joe Hendry still shaking off those kicks from mere moments ago. Joe Hendry taking a moment to gather his breath, but he is at this point in the match clearly in better condition than Jay Joshua after that press slam. Joshua, to his credit, though, is back to his feet here. Remember, Joshua looking for his first victory here at Wrestle Carnival. Oh. A lot of people saying after Hendry's impressive display against Leighton Buzzer that he was the favorite going into this match, but it has been very, very even between these two. Certainly has, and back and forth they go with these big knife edge chops. Joshua regaining himself. He's found a second wind here, Jay Joshua. Repeated strikes to Hendry. Big boot, got him right in the chest, goes to the ropes. He was trying to maybe spear him there, but Hendry got the knee up. The, the skull of Jay Joshua collided, and there's another collision. Cover that the man. Lariat from Hendry. He does go for the cover. Does he get the win? No, he doesn't. Frustration starting to build for Hendry. You can see it written all over his face. Maybe he believed Bradshaw the answer did that he would have the win by now, but Jay Joshua, so, so impressive here tonight to kick off pure. Henry feeling the energy of this crowd in the Portland center. Now trying to send Joshua to the ropes. Joshua held on. He grabbed the leg of Hendry, 
took him down. Big kick to the chest, right into the heart of Joe Henry. The cover from Joshua, and he comes close again, but not close enough. Right back on the attack straight away. Trying to force a submission. We know from what we saw at Curtain Call that Jay Joshua is something of a submission specialist, and you can hear Joe Hendry is screaming in agony here. Hendry as well is right in the middle of the ring. I don't think he's within reach of any of those bottom ropes. Big, big danger here for Joe Hendry. Unthinkable, the answer might tap out, might give up right in the middle of that ring. Joshua trying to hit the heel into the chest of Hendry to do some more damage, but Hendry, oh, what a counter. What a counter from Hendry to the Hendry lock. The Hendry lock and a tap out, a tap out. The answer is the winner. Joe Hendry marches on to November 14th. A ring of honor, pure rules match awaits against Doug Williams at Carnival Mania. Could that have been a message to one Doug Williams? A huge submission win right before next month's colossal showdown. Joe Hendry looking damn good inside that ring here tonight. It is a rejuvenated Joe Hendry, who is now 2-0 in Wrestle Carnival as he heads to our biggest show ever next month to take on the ambassador of British wrestling. But tonight, it was Hendry and Joshua, and Joshua has earned the respect of the answer. It started with a handshake. It ends in one, but not before Joe Hendry picks up yet another win. Henry is arm raised in victory. The answer wins here in Nottingham.